Consider two events, A and B, such that the probability of A equals one-third, the probability of B equals a half. Find the probability of B intersect A complement for each of the following conditions. So our first condition is A and B are disjoint, meaning that the intersection of the two is the empty set. It means that they don't intersect. So I've drawn a Venn diagram here. And essentially, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you e each one of these conditions are going to be done a little bit different, differently, but it's a, it's, a, it's a different way to think about each one of these set theory problems. So A and B are disjoint, and the intersection is the empty set. So we're just going to figure out what is, we're going to shade B first, right? We want the intersection of A and C. So this is all of the elements in B and in the complement of A. So the complement of A is everything outside of A. So we want the elements of both. So I'm just going to quickly shade B here in black. And then in green, I'm going to shade A complement. So A complement, if you can see, includes all of B as well. So we want all the elements that are in A complement and in B. So in red here, we're going to give, essentially you can see that it's just the entire set B, right? We want all of the, all of the elements in B and in A complement. So it has to be the entire set of B. So then when we solve this problem, we find that P the probability of B in the intersection of A complement is in fact just the probability of B, which is given at one half. Now as we keep going, A is contained in B. So A is a subset of B, like I've like I've drawn in this in this Venn diagram here. And what we're gonna use here is a is a is a formula called the partition of B. partition of B, which simply states that B is a set is equal to the union of A intersection B plus A complement intersect B. Now we have to figure out which, which each one of these are. What we want is A complement intersection B. So we can rewrite this in terms of probability and say the probability of B whoops, equals the probability of A intersect B plus A, whoops, perhaps the probability of A complement intersect B. Now we know the probability of B is one half, so we want to find out what is the probability of A intersect B here. Well, if we can see, all of the elements that are in A and B are simply just in A, right? So we want all, here's, we can shade B here, like we did above, and we can shade only A. And what are all of the elements that sit in both of those? Well, it's just everything that's in A again. So this simply equals A. So we've got the probability of B. We know the probability of A. That's also given. And we're left with our variable, which is the probability of A complement intersect B, which you can, you can write this either way. The probability of B intersect a complement is the same thing as saying the probability of A intersect B. So we have the probability of A complement intersect B equals the probability of A minus, excuse me, this is the probability of B, probability of B minus the probability of A which is one half minus one third, which equals one sixth. So that's how we do this one. Now again, we're gonna use the partition of B, except that there isn't gonna be that much change anymore. So the partition of B again, we'll, we'll just write it 
in terms of probability here is this is a this is a lot more straightforward after using this formula for the last for section two so the probability of B equals the probability of A intersect B plus A complement intersect B, right? And that makes sense because we have A intersect B in here. Let me get a different color. We have the probability of, and I'll, and I'll write this here, the probability of A intersect B here, and then the probability of A complement intersect B is all of this, right? Because if we think about A complement, it's everything outside of A intersect B, which is this blue shaded region. And then everything, all the elements in A and B are in this red shaded section, which makes up all of B. So this partition of B makes sense, correct? Now, as we fill this out, since we're given what the intersection of A and B is, we have one eighth here and we know b is a half plus p of a complement intersect b leaving us with a complement intersect b equals one half minus one eighth which equals three eighths and we're done so kind of similar similar ways to do the second and the third part but the first part we did pretty much all with a Venn diagram it's important to understand these Venn diagrams and use them so you can un uh, you can understand what the formula is doing right like we did on this third um, we didn't we didn't have to really play around with too many formulas we used we used one which is the partition of B and we answered it we answered a question in a lot of different ways so sometimes you just need a, a visual understanding of what's going on and it makes the problem a lot easier